G'day, welcome to chapter 14 of the uh, Te Araroa Trail of my journey. Um, this one here, we've just left Boyle Village and heading through to Arthur's Pass. So Matt's joining me on this section. Howdy! And uh, yeah, hoping to, it's Tuesday now, hoping to get to Arthur's Pass some point Saturday. And uh, staying in Arthur's Pass for the night before carrying on on Sunday. Uh, anyway, let's go. We're now on what they call the Tui Track, which is uh, the link between Boyle Flat Hut and the uh, Hope Kiwi Track. And there's the Lewis Pass Road on the other side of well, on the other side of the river there. Oh, it's a hot day. 27 degrees. Could almost go for a swim in this. Alright, so we're uh, 20 and a half k's in and just making it to the Hope halfway. So, there's about 7.5 k to go. Five hours and 26 minutes so far, so not too bad really, not too bad. Well, that's uh, day one done and dusted of Harper's Pass, Hope Kiwi. Oh, let's see if I can get a bed. Day 108, leaving Hope Kiwi, 7am in the morning, uh, heading to Hurunui number three. We've got Matt, Ladina Hello. and Alita. So we've just made it up to the Hurunui Hot Pools. Not getting in though. Um, I just thought I'd come and show you. It's like, you know, you can get three or four people in there nicely. That's a pretty cool little pink terrace there. With the water flowing down. But yeah, cool little spot. You can see the steam coming off the uh, off the water just there. You know, if you didn't, but there is a lot of sand flies. We'll see you girls at the hut. Enjoy your hot dip. All right, Hurunui number three. Uh, here we are at this hut just before 3 p.m. And I think this might be our destination for tonight, so. What? Cold. Oh, hard enough. <laughs> Not a very deep river, but it's a cold river. It's okay once you get in, yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> That's like a way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. Day 108, we're just leaving Hurunui number three and we're heading somewhere to camp tonight. So heading down Harper's Pass, or up and over Harper's. And we're going to drop down past Lockstream Hut, past Kiwi Hut, and then find a nice little camp spot. 8 a.m. And the weather is so far good. Three point seven k's in, and uh, made it to the old Cameron Hut. Uh, it's definitely um, some different uh, plants up here. 
Puh. Muggy. This is Harper's Pass and we're about to sort of climb up that little bank there and then drop down into the Tara Macau. We're now on the west coast for a day or so and then we'll jump back on the east coast once we go over Goat Pass. Looking down the Tower of Macau. Wicked. Okay, now show us how it's done. Ah! Oh, what a professional Swedish girl. Boring. Lunch time! It's a Nobo coming through. Kiwi hut just in through the trees there. Stop here for a quick afternoon tea break and carry on. So we're crossing back over to the true left of this river. Um, that stuff does not look like we can camp in it. It's nearly 6 pm, I think it's about 10 too. So it's been a long day because we left about. Uh, just after 8 a.m. this morning and um, it's been about 33 k's so far but we'll stop up here find a good spot to camp and uh, call it a day ready for goat pass tomorrow all right so i found a camp spot um the original camp spot i found didn't actually have room for that freaking big tent so i had to move about a half a k further down the track to find this one the other three are half a k that way across the stream so I probably won't see them tonight not looking until tomorrow morning and I'm um, just cooking dinner so good night see you in the morning ah <sighs> morning day 110 <coughs> on the TA trail uh, last night was a bit of a freedom camp here at the intersection uh, for the Otero river crossing or the route that takes you up the river towards Morrison bridge <clears throat> I'm just packing up now and um, waiting for the others that are about half a k camped up that way. I didn't have enough room for my tent up there, so I brought my tent down this way. And um, then we'll take off up to Goat Pass Hut. These guys have managed to catch up to me at my campsite, and we've just started off. So, going to cross the Otero River and walk up the road to the Morrison Footbridge. And apparently, the track up that way isn't so great. So. We'll um, make this a bit easier on ourselves because Goat Pass is going to be a bit of a mission. Oh, that's after work, yeah. It's all the way. Yeah. Big day. Got a couple of blue ducks just on the river there. I think it's probably one of the first time I've actually seen them. How cool is that? Lunch time? Lunch time! Up a deception hut. <laughs> so about 2k's to go to Goat Pass and 300 metres to climb. And it is now raining. Well, about half a k from Goat Pass hut. And, uh, this has been our weather for the last hour or so. Oh. Oh. There it is. Good pass. Good to be here. 3.30. Day 111 and we're leaving Goat Pass Hut. But first we're getting a weather forecast. Where do I... Um, Just use the button on the side there. Oh, this one? Push that. Okay. Surface 
Well, that's taking some time. <laughs> are you pointing at us? Or do you oh, yes. Hey. <laughs> 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 Damn it! Try harder! <laughs> Try harder! It's <laughs> not working! <laughs> it's bullshit! <laughs> 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 Ming Abib just behind us. A couple of people stayed there last night. Um, it's only actually 2.8 k's from Goat Pass Hut, so it's pretty close. <laughs> All right, just coming over the knob and uh, then drop back down uh, to the river. Civilization again. Arthur's Pass just around the corner here. Right, so that's the end of chapter 14. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, stay tuned for chapter 15 coming up next, which will be going from here, Arthur's Pass, through to the Rangitata River. So that section should probably take us about six days, and I'm going to have a zero in between there. So, yep, stay tuned.